How powerful are stories? Now we know that they are very powerful. They are the most powerful part of any speech because this is what arouses emotion. But how powerful are they? If we look back in history, we can see that some of the great stories that have been handed down for thousands of years have left a greater impact on us than the actual biographies of those great teachers and storytellers. The stories persist. The biographies often fade into nothingness. Unless they're dug out by academics and historians who trace every movement that those people made, then most of us aren't interested anyway. We're not interested in academics. We are interested in messages. Messages that are profound. And those profound messages have all come down to us in stories. The stories told by Buddha over 2,600 years ago are still being recalled, still being retold amongst people today. The stories of Jesus and the various stories that he told are still being told all of the time, although we don't know a great deal about Jesus. What happened to him between the ages of, say, 15, 16 and 30, 32? We don't know much about that at all. But we do remember the great stories that he handed down. Stories, that is where the power lies. If you can present great stories which will resonate in the minds of your listeners, many, many years after you've told them, you will have become a great storyteller, a great influencer, a great persuader, a great changer of this world. And that way you will be the best transformational speaker that you ever could be.